All right, here we go. Starting a new series where we're gonna try to beat every campaign pretty normally. So, ah, my God, I hate it when my mouse does this. Having some mouse problems where it does that laggy thing. So, before we get into it, let's lay some rules. I have five chances to beat it without using manual control. Because if I just control one of the units, it'll make it a lot easier, right? After five attempts without manual control, it is considered a failure, and I... And I will have to use manual control to beat it. And I'm gonna keep track of all the failures. And then, like at the end, we can see how well I've done. So a success would be me beating it before five tries. I have five tries to beat each level. Check you it. Let me let me get a notebook and stuff. Probably should have prepared first. But give me a second. I have now returned with a notebook and a working pencil. Campaign. Alright. Starting off the first campaign. My goodness, this mouse. The introduction. How many campaigns are there? Nine right now. Huh, interesting. Is that there? I thought there was going to be a tenth one, but a good bad faction. There is, right? There should be a tough campaign here. Alright. So, starting off. Clubs. Oh, I can see the name at the top, so alright. Let's do this. I think this is gonna work, personally. Five spear throwers. No controlling, no controlling. Unless I fail this four more times. Boom! Yes, they one tap. So five spears, if each spear hits, that leaves one guy left over. Only two spears hit. But they're pretty spread out. That might give you a chance. Oh, oh, so everyone just one taps here. Hmm, spears are a lot less accurate than I thought they would be. Failure one. Alright, how about two clubbers? Or how about three clubbers and two spear throwers? And if this doesn't work, we'll just swap them around and have three spear throwers and two clubbers. Hopefully no friendly fire incidents. Both spears are on target, which makes it an almost even fight. Alright, boom, it's now three to three. This is that janky mouse right there. No way. It's only four to three. Ooh, there we go, only three of them left. Uh-oh, we only got one guy left. We got two spears coming in though. Hopefully none of them do friendly fire. Ooh, ooh. Oh, awesome. Uh oh, that's not good at all. I feel like that was a fail. 
I swear to God. I feel like we have a chance. It just depends on how well these clubbers do. Or not. Or not. Is that right? How many clubbers can we get? What if we just try to brute force it with two more clubbers? So, wait, how many attempts have we done? This is attempt number four. <laughs> I might, might fail the first one. That would be pretty embarrassing. So now we're just going for numbers here. Unless I get... In theory, it should work. We got to... How? Dude! Wow, what a fail on the AI's part. Alright. That was a clear victory right there. Oh my god, those last two smucks ruined it. Insane. Insane. I feel like their AI is better than mine. They're cheating. Somehow. Okay. There you go. That was close. That was close. Clubs! Five tries. Success. Barely. Oh my god, that was so terrible. Alright. Let's do this. Oh, whoops. Did not mean to do that. Yeah! Yeah, that's a good... Maybe I should make ranks for these. Right? I feel like if I get first try... So if there's only one try, that would be like S. Two would be A. Three would be B. Four would be C. Five would be D. Then anything after five would be an F. So five tries is a D on the ranking. That's not that's not good to have. That's not good at all. Spears, here we go. Ooh, that did uh, Oh no. The bottom is doing a lot worse than the top. Cause they lost both of the shieldy boys instantly. Uh, this might not work. This might not, uh... Might not pan out the way I thought it would. Doink! Ah, oh, that's a fail. Let's try it again. Jump number two. Ooh. Okay. Better. All of our spears hit, which is really lucky. Unfortunately, they get two shots before our guys get up close there. Oh, this one's going a lot better. Oh, yeah. Might get it in two tries. Be an A rank. As long as no friendly fire happens, the protector should have it. Spears! Alright. Spears? It took two tries. That's an A. That's pretty good. Sticks and bones. Sticks and Bones. Oh boy. Mm, this is gonna be kinda hard. I, I kinda just wanna do this, honestly. Let's see how this goes. They should kill the shamans first. Like, if I was manually controlling this, that's what I would do. But luckily, they both waste their first shots on my spear on the one protector I had in front. So this might pan out well. I got is that six or five guys who aren't in danger right now. Of course, all of these spears are very close, so they miss. Oh, friendly fire! So we got two shots until he shoots again. When he shoots again, we lose. My man! Yes, let's go. One try. S, our first S rank right there. Oh, let's, that's awesome. And now, we have army. Okay. So, that's a... So now we got... Well, now, well, now we have access to bone mages. So that's going to be really good. So I think, I think we should do this. Uh, whoops. There we go. That 
actually, no, no, I think we should only get five. And then, ah, fine, I'll have to get rid of one. I want another bone mage instead. Because that is a huge cluster of guys. Oh! Oh, yeah. Beautiful. Should be a win as soon as our bone mages reload. There we go. One try. Easy S rank. So now we got farmers. Oh, we have access to a bunch of stuff now. Unfortunately, we don't have mammoths. So I'm gonna get two chieftains though. They should easily deal with uh, the halflings. They also would easily deal with farmers as well. But unfortunately, we did a bit of fun fire there, so that did not help. Yeah, it, it would have went a lot better if there was two of them. Although they are, they were stuck on the corpses for a second there. It's not gonna end well. Nope. A bit of a loss. Just give them a minute. It's gonna take them a while to hit our guys. There they go. Let's try it again without friendly fire this time. Good. Now we have two of them. That's a lot. Already, we can see a huge improvement. Oh, yes. Come on, take out one more. Oh, would have been nice if there were three spears for one person instead of three for two. But we still got them anyway. Two tries. A rank. I think I'm gonna go like more chieftains for this because the hay bale is a good at taking projectiles. So I'm gonna go three chieftain, three bone mage, one clubber in front. I also got those potion doors which have insanely long range. Wow, that's a pretty good range. Awesome, I think they chose the right stuff. One of my bone mages is completely tripping out. One of them is in poison, though. Oh, he's poisoned now, though. There goes one chief, then here goes the other. All they gotta do is make it. One stuck. The other's dead. And the other just got poisoned and incapacitated. And now he's walking off funky. Alright, I need spear throwers. That's an L. That's a loss. Okay, so now I got two spear throwers. And two clubbers. Oh, that was not as effective as the last bone mage one, but the chieftains still got the hay bellies. So the chieftains are definitely staying. So maybe I don't need the bone mage. Maybe I need more spear throwers. Oh, the Moan Mages made it this time. Two dress. That's another A rank for us. Boom! Stomach. What was this one called? I didn't look at the name. Alright, so this one is called Hay and Pitchforks. But I need to get the name of the last one. Campaign introduction. Oh, that one's just called Hay. Okay. So on Hay, took us two tries. We got an A rank. Oh yeah, definitely performing a lot better than the first one. Ouch, that was an embarrassing way to start. I think we'll go over one campaign each episode. Well, let's see, since I can get a mammoth, I'm gonna get a mammoth here. And I'm just gonna support him with some spear towers. That should be well enough. Well, no. No, it wouldn't. 
because they, they got the hay, they got the hay bellies. So the spear throwers won't be as effective against them. But the mammoth should crack house. Easy. Bit too much money on that one. Game gave us more than we probably needed. So easy S rank. Sives and friends. Sives and friends. Sorry, I'm just writing it. Write the name down in a little notebook here. Mammoth. Here we go. Boom. I'm gonna get chieftains, two chieftains, a dude, a spear, one spearman, and one protector. I believe these are hobbits in there. Oh yeah, another good thing about these health bars, I have to be able to see all the ones with where they put ambush units. Oh, uh, sorry. Gotta wait for my mouse to come back. They got three poison throwers, so that's what he's gonna be good against. Sives. Probably the man. The mammoth was probably going to be very good against the horde of hobbits in the bush, and the chief thins would be like for the size. Let's see how this goes. There's the poison. All right, the side that doesn't have a mammoth is probably going to do a lot worse, right? Yeah, it's doing a lot worse. The mammoth has more than half health right now. I was struggling against these sides. I do a lot of damage. And the mammoth isn't doing a lot of damage to them. There goes one scythe. I would actually really like if we could get those poison throwers. The mammoth before he goes down. To even fight for our uh, spear thrower friend. Trampled one. I think one's dead. Definitely. One got poisoned by himself and his friend. Now we got the last guy out here. Poison doesn't not do enough damage. One try. Another S rank. Woo! Reason through this one. Melee. Oh, now we get the uh, farmers. Which is so unfortunate because they don't have any good range units. All they got is these guys. So, definite disadvantage. Uh, let's try this. If this doesn't work, I'll put the Poison guys a bit closer. Eh, might work though. A scythe guy, scythe woman, I guess, isn't doing bad. Whack. Alright, that's another one. Yes. Uh oh, one's getting, one's breaking through, and our scythe person is almost dead. No! I feel like if they had gotten one more swing off, it could have been better. One guy fell, but a lot of the squires are making it, and now that we're close range, they're gonna start poisoning themselves. Although they have kind of turned the tide, another one falls off the cliff. I think he died from fall damage. Is it the last one? No, two lived, and they are walking back up. But they turn around to deal with them, and it's one man left. One more squire. He's holding his sword wrong. He's not gonna make it. Oh, one of our poison guys died as well, though. Apparently, there's someone out here. Ah, oh, you. So this is just pure AI. Because if our guy falls off, that's just a straight loss. But it should be an easy win. There we go. Nice. That was close. But we did it in one try still. Another S rank. Oh god, no. Ugh, archers. Ugh, wheelbarrows cost too much as well. But we've got hay balers, so. though. Lucky us, we have hay balers. So once again, I'm gonna get. Uh, the bards aren't gonna do anything. The bards are just gonna run away like the old cowards. Look at half of them, so. so once again, the poison throwers should do pretty good. Oh uh, no. No, they got, they already got half of my hay people, and the other half just got poison. Oh, man. That is a lot of creatures, it is insane. This is not gonna end well. Oh, I need to poison all of them. It's gonna be a lot. Oh, especially when they get one shot like that. Okay. 
Well, we can't just go pure poison. That, that I don't think that would work at all. What if we went all halfling? What if? Right? Like, there's just too many people for them to kill? Maybe that was a pretty good volley. Come on, come on. This might, this might work. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Okay, yeah, this is gonna work. The bards, or since the bards don't actually attack, they're gonna lock off the edge. So all of their damaging units are dead now. Although a good bit of hairy-footed children did die. And the bards, they get scared. One's in the water, he's gone. Two in the water, he's gone. And the halflings are chasing him. Three in the water, and he's gone. The fourth one is being ganged up on. It's not taking any damage right now, though. Oh, there they go. It's taking some punches. I think they're just trying to get through each other to punch the bird. We got him. Took us two tries. I forgot the name of that one, though, so I'm gonna have to go back and look at it. S words and castle and catapults. Why? Why is it hyphened like that? Uh, I don't know. Swords and catapults. Catapults. Oh boy! Go back to the campaign. Go back to the introduction. Uh, piercing music. What does that mean? What's that little trophy mean? Does that mean how far I beat through it? Hmm, no wonder. Piercing music took us two tries, which is an A rank. Swords and catapults. Still only have the poison people, so I I think I think we're just gonna spread out a bunch of poison people. And the rest of the money we'll spread out some halflings. Also, it doesn't make sense for a poison someone to be in. To minimize catapult damage. It's poison people, the poison sellers can deal with squires easily. But if they clumped up, the catapult would kill a whole bunch of them. No good. Like those two hobbits who just died. That sucks. Boom! And now the catapult is poisoned. Would be easier to kill the person operating the catapult than the catapult itself, but I don't think it's gonna matter. That much. Yep, they're gone. And we take out the last squire. S rank this one. Oh no, this is gonna be really hard. The king. Mm, I don't think we're gonna get an S or A rank on this one. But we might. What if? Hear me out. 14 points for potion shells. Just perma poison, perma disorientation. Uh, okay, we got all of his entourage, so now he... Oh, yes! Oh, oh, that's so lucky. Oh, no, we got back up. No, oh, he got one of us. Now his entourage is coming again, but all of the healers are dead, luckily enough. So it's just squires. The squires that are coming are getting easily dealt with. The poison is disorientating him, so he can't chop through our ranks like butter. Uh -uh. Oh, let's go, this is gonna work. This works. That's awesome. That, that was just the king getting pelted by poison. I'm already start writing it down. One try. Easy piece. Alright. A lot easier than I thought it would be. Basic formation. Yeah, that is a basic formation, isn't it? But now, what do we got? What, what, do we, what can we work with? 
Okay. Boom. Boom. Now one squire at the back. I feel like I could just do this five times until we get the good catapult hits to win. Because if that one bard has to fight anyone, I don't think he's gonna win. Okay. Awesome. They each got two shots off before dying. But that's still four guys the squire has to fight alone. Yeah. Oh! Yes, one of the catapults got a shot off. Oh, the squire got destroyed. Can he lob a rock through there? No, he cannot. Okay. Attempt number two! <laughs> you just need to keep playing it over and over again until we get the good catapult hits like that. It's just decimated half of their force. Alright, so that was just bad luck on the first game. Now these two guys stuck on corpses right here. And on each other. This catapult should easily do with them. Basic formation. Two tries. Could have only taken one, but I'll take the A rank. Anyway. Not that big of a deal. Alright, here we go. Doing the same thing again. Except this time. Alright, so I'm on Hopalice this map. Hop. Hoplites. Give me a minute, writing it down. Hoplite! Except this time, we get two extra squires. One for each lane. We're gonna put him a good distance behind the catapult. So that way he doesn't get friendly fired by the catapults. It's supposed to be like a last resort. But we don't need a last resort, because we got catapults. Just got away from the reload. And that should be good. Boom! Easy. easy. One try. One try. That's right. Winning any way necessary. Ooh. 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 Okay. And so then, the way to fight a ballista is large numbers. So, actually, but instead of squires, I'm gonna get archers instead. That way they can shoot them from a long range. Since. Ballistas don't have uh, AOE unless they hit collaterals. So yeah, our catapults are gone, but then our archers can sit apart. And I didn't see what this map was called, so I'm gonna have to go back and look at it again. One poor archer gets destroyed, and of course our poor catapults. But that's an easy S rank, one try. So this one is called Minotaur. 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 Now this would be a good time to have a ballista. I'm just saying. I'm gonna get one king, one catapult, some archers. Why am I setting this up? I need to go back into the name of the other one. So sorry every time I have to do this. Really is an art. Oh, it's just called ballista. Alright. Whoops. Miss Rip something back right there. Ballista. Took us one try. Yeah, that's what it is. Alright, once again, one king. Ooh. Why? Why? My goodness, mouse. One catapult. Four archers. And three squires. One in front to be in five. I think this should work. He only has six Arisa men to help him. The catapults are for the big damage. Alright, catapults, catapult, and archer are dead. That's, that's good to know. And they also got all of our squires, so now it's basically the king versus most of their formation. Okay. That ain't good. I feel like the king would win if there wasn't the services right there picking our guys off. Okay. So that didn't work at all. But we can get two kings, however. So what if we get two kings? And have our archers come in later. Okay. Right? So they charge at the kings, and they, then they fight the kings, and then we got the archers in the back, and the squire. He's just saying that I don't know how to do something. We did snipe one of the Sarissa guys with our archers, though. Both kings are still up. One's almost down, though. One is down. Got the other one still there though, and one key, the king versus three Sarissa is real easy, especially when he has snipers in the back to help him out. 
Boom! Whoa. Archer's in the back. Oh, I hit tab on accident. I was gonna see if the king had actually died, because his health bar looked pretty low there. It took us two tries. A. And now we're using the ancient faction. <laughs> Such a long name. Ice archers only. Almost. So, ice archers only. Whoops. Whoopsie. Almost. Got it. Yep. So, since I know that ice archers actually don't do damage, I'm gonna have a and, they, and the only way they can kill you is by freezing you. I'm gonna get some snake archers to disrupt the brawlers. Mouse. Three snake archers for each formation of brawlers. And then a bunch of guys with shields. But ton of guys with shields. And I have the flanking shield bearers, which are supposed to like flank behind and start picking off archers. Let's see if this works. Oh, some of the snakes are going for the archers themselves. Our Harpolites did not fare well in that fight. The flanking force of shield bearers is doing its job, though, pretty well. Luckily, snakes count as their own entity, so they will distract the brawlers. And our flanking force has taken one casualty and taken out one formation of ice archers. One guy, one ice archer died from a friendly fire. And the snakes are helping take care of the rest and helping save our poor shield bearers. Unfortunately, they could not save the Hopolites, who all died terribly. They also couldn't save the one guy, the one shield bearer that did get frozen, but one try. Why did I hear the victory thing twice? That was weird. Press tab to continue. That's right. Boars and bears. This is where I really wish I had the catapult instead of the ballista. So they got a Jarl. I can see, I can tell who the Jarl is because he has a humongous uh, HP pool. So he has the Berserk ability. So I'm going to put one ballista in the back. Snake archers to distract. Zeus. And then seven shield bearers to act as a melee line. Because they're all melee units. So. But snakes should also distract them as well. The shield bearers are just cannon fodder. The ballista did its job and took out the Jarl in one hit. Good job, the ballista. Zeus is doing his job, even though he just killed one of our snake archers. I saw that. Boom! One try. Another S rank for us. Medium army. Alright. Bit of an odd name, don't you think? Well, I am going to do this. Since they're so clustered up, I should get some nice collabs. Oh! Did not count on the ice archers though. I did get nice collapse. Okay, that was kind of stupid on my part. But I, I did. I did full acceptance of that. Okay, yeah, that's a loss. That's a fail. So instead, I'm gonna put one, two, three in the back because I do need to take out up to three yarls. So I'm gonna just have one for each yarl. Then I'm actually gonna put the rest of my forces down here. So I got my. So I got a bunch of snake archers. I got my hopalites. I want I want a Zeus so. for that sweet sweet lightning damage. Whatever, I'll I'll live about it though. Let's, let's put some silver on the side. Now this is a pretty beautiful formation. So let me make it a bit ugly. Wait, if I can sneak a third guy right there, it'll make it look better. I can't. Even though the square says I should be able to. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Oh! 
Oh, I can't because I don't have money. Okay. Oh, they turned around actually. The, the snakes are distracting them. There goes the ballista ripping through the ranks. I think we got two of the Yarls, so that's really good. Our melee units are going in there. They're not going to live against that Yarl, though. Ooh, the ballista got the Yarl. One of the ballistas. The snakes are going in. We lost all of our melee units. Man, these ice scientists are pretty much doomed. Oh. Alright, took us two tries, because I wanted to be stupid. But So, my punishment is that I only get an A. Long ships. This should be the last one of this campaign. Long ships. Long ship. So I'm definitely gonna need ballistas here. Once again, I'm gonna get three. I'm gonna get one Zeus. Snake archers on the side. Snake archers. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. And snake archers on the side, I guess. Cause that's all I can afford. Oh wait. One dude, cannon fodder, one dude to act as cannon fodder. Ballista firing, ooh. Two of all of the long ships got triggered by snakes. So actually, I didn't really need the ballistas. They might actually cause some problems, actually. But after that, I would need guys to deal with the large amount of people who come from the long ships. Come on, snakes! Oh, protect your archers! Let's go. Oh, the ballistas. Nice, they took out a good chunk of them. There's only three enemies left. One of them's gonna die to snakes. One might get shot by the ballistas if we get lucky. I think the snake archers will be able to do with these last couple of guys, so even if the ballistas can. Oh, but the ballistas can! They got one of the guys. The other one is covered in snakes. So he ain't gonna be lucky. Oh, look at that! Got a couple of achievements right there. And just like that, we have beaten the introductory campaign. One try for long ships, S rank. So, counting up everything, we got uh, total rankings. Total rankings. I'm, I'm creating stuff as I go right here. Give me a minute. One D. I'm counting all of the A's and S's right now. Six A's and one D, which when added up would mean there should be 18. No, wait, there should be 19 levels in this. Yeah, one, two, three, four, four, six. No, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So that's 12. Twelve plus eight. Twelve plus eight is twenty. So I'm missing one. What am I missing? Uh, ah, I got seven A's. So twelve S ranks, seven A ranks, and one D rank. No B, C, or S. So that's pretty good. And, um, I actually don't know how long it took me to complete it. Because I'd have to account for at the beginning, the time wasted at the beginning, and all that other stuff. So I can't say how long it took me. But this video is 40 minutes long, so that should give a general idea of that. The next time, we will do the adventure. We will start the adventure. Jesus Christ. That is a lot. Are all of them that? No. No. No, they're not all this huge. 
three pages. This was only two pages. That was only two pages. This was only two. Okay, the adventure is just stupidly long. The only one that comes close is the last one. It's the, which, which, it's the Wild West campaign. I wonder why I don't have the uh, good and bad campaign. Do I, do I have to un right, I have to unlock those campaigns, right? Those are secret campaigns, I believe. Alright, so I have to go unlock that. Um... Yeah, first episode in Beating All the Tabs campaigns. Did pretty good on this one. Uh, definitely missed out on some S ranks due to stupidity and luck. Uh, but, hey, can't really complain. The only one I did terribly on was clubs, the very first level. See you guys later.